I will tell you some of my small adventures. Some of them really happened, and some others as well. Santa class, at the age of 10 or so, I got a steam engine. At first I doubted if I could ever like a gift that could do so little. Just, it could do less than any piece of kitchen appliance, but it would make a lot more mess. But I tried to love it, and I quickly fell in love. I made all kinds of contraptions for it, in which I would power crazy music machines, a helicopter, a banana peeler, or it would just drive itself in circle-like patterns over the living room floor. The little machine made me regret, regret that rainy Sunday afternoons became actually sunny Sunday afternoons. One rainy day, I made a paper plane folder and shooter. It would fully automatic fold the planes and shoot them. Well, almost. And then, they would fly through the room. In all enthusiasm, I let the pressure of the steam engine rise up too far, and the little glass window broke. Uh, with my mom's mixer as a power source, I tried to rebuild the fully automatic paper plane maker. But it somehow never really worked as before. Maybe the lack of the greasy smoke or the rattling sound made a difference. Or maybe it just never really worked that well. The remains of the steam engine I will always kept, so maybe someday I could fix it. But the rainy Sunday afternoons, they were never the same again. I remember, at least, that's the way I want it to be, that me, being 11 or so, going to an exhibition with my mom, not really wanting, grumpy as kids can be that age. Short after arrival, my attention got caught by an empty and quiet room. A strange form of quietness was there. The floor of the room was filled with very small little veins, maybe 10 centimeters high each, stuck in the floor with little pins. They were orderly spread throughout the space, with some free space around it. Everything was so light and subtle it would react on the smallest disruption of the air surrounding it. When I walked in, the whole room changed. Every blow of wind would create a wave of movement through the veins. And every time the door opened, a shock wave would make the whole room dance. While the other people walked on, I would quietly wait to see them all calm down. And when all movement slowly disappeared, I would blow little puffs of air in the room, and a river of wind would flow through. The movements of air were suddenly there to be seen. I still like to watch the air move <coughs> on quiet days. In the summer, my mom and I used to live in a pipawagen. In the old dockyards of the city, it's now a fancy neighborhood, but back then it wasn't. We lived in this woonwagen, which is basically a trailer, but then with the romance of a 50s circus. <coughs> there were old cranes on the water sides where we used to play. Me and a neighboring kid named Daantje. He lived in a teepee. One evening, the moon was low above the water. It was a small, thin slice of moon. But I'm not sure. I think it was Daantje's father, actually, who showed me that you can tie a rope to the moon and then the other end of the rope to the pipawagen. As the moon dropped below the horizon, the rope was pulled tight. 
and we sat on the porch of our house on wheels, enjoying the moon on its trip around the world. It was dark, as it is in the night. We met Indians and Fakirs, but they were all asleep. And the night lasted the whole night, which was longer than any other night since we traveled along with the night. It only ended when the moon was back again, where we were when our trip started. And as the rope was cut, the morning came. Then I realized that I lost the day by chasing the night. When I now try to chase the moon for another night, I still sometimes meet Indians on the way. But the next day does seem to come before the rope is actually cut. And the day still seems to get lost in time. Sometimes, when you know things from memory, they become bigger, more magical. Yesterday, I fixed my old steam engine. I replaced the little window. I polished it a little bit. Today it will run again, like it did in memory. Somehow, I know this little machine didn't lose its magic. It's still very good.